So here on mat seven, we move to the 285 pound weight class and we'll see Dominique Perry. He is the number one seed, 35 and one. We'll take on Stryker Lane of Cornell, 20 and 12 on the year. And Perry took an Olympic red shirt last year. He placed third in 2011. This year he's beaten Tony Nelson, who's the number two seed out of Minnesota. He beat him two to one in overtime at the Southern Scuffle. Only loss this year for him was a 4-3 decision to Alan Gulagef of Oklahoma State. That was in their duel. So his only loss was to uh, Gulagef, and he has beat Tony Nelson at the Southern Scuffle. So when you talk about this 285-pound weight class, all top four seeds are very solid, and I think really all of them have a chance to compete for the title. So not a lot of difference between them because some have exchanged wins or losses, and as we said, Bradley beating Nelson but losing to Gulagoff. And then you also have uh, Chad Hankey at the four seed from Oregon State also in the mix, and he's very solid as well. So Don Bradley. He is a senior out of Blue Springs. Russell at Blue Springs High School which is coached by Mike Haggerty, who's a, an official. Here's a slide-by by Bradley. Nice job, and he gets the two. And they get the first points of this match, taking on striker lane of Cornell. As I was saying, Bradley wrestled in high school for Mike Haggerty, who's also an NCAA official here. He's patrolling on one of the other mats, not here on making rotations on mat seven today, obviously. Bradley working on top here. Halfway to uh, the minute riding time criteria. In high school, Don Bradley was a three-time heavyweight Missouri State champion in 2005, 6, and 7. And as a senior, he was ranked number one in the country at his weight class. So that'll do it for the first period. And Bradley wins the toss. And he's going to take bottom to start off the second period. Bradley leading striker lane of Cornell two to nothing here on Matt Seven. I'm Todd Schumacher giving you the play-by-play -play today for Matt Seven here at the 2013 NCAA National Championships. Bradley trying to get his hips free. Now rolls, comes right back onto Lane. Almost caught him. But he'll get the reversal to make it four to nothing. So after a slide by for the takedown back in the first period, he opens up the second period with a, a reversal. Now putting some pressure on Lane. Bradley on top, and he's got almost two minutes of riding time, so leading 4 nothing on the scoreboard. He is essentially leading 5 to nothing. Only one loss for him, 35-1, and one, came to Golagayev of Oklahoma State. 
who's coming up on mat eight, where he'll be taking on Benjamin Appland of Michigan. So the winner here, which looks to be Bradley and Krupp, will face either Blake Heron of American or the winner of the pigtail match in this bracket. So reset. They'll take it back to the middle of the mat with 16 seconds left to go and Bradley leading five to nothing. Bradley drops down to that leg. Let's see if he can get the two. He sure does. After choosing the neutral position, he now is up seven to nothing with a two minute and 52 second lighting time advantage with a minute and a half left to go in this one. So now Lane able to get away and gets a one-point escape to break the shutout. 7-1, Don Bradley of Missouri leading comfortably in this one with just about a minute left to go. Now Bradley, a leg attack, double leg, and goes right straight to an arm bar. He's not going to be able to keep it in, but gets around for the two, and he now leads 9-1 to one over a striker lane of Cornell. So an eight-point lead on the mat, but almost uh, well over now, a three-and-a-half-minute riding time advantage. So it looks like this one's going to end 10-1 to one in favor of Bradley as Stryker Lane just struggling trying to get to his knees, and Bradley just riding him tough, and that's how this one will conclude. The final is Dom Bradley of Missouri, 10, and Stryker Lane of Cornell, 1.